Hello everyone, welcome to this week's demo. My name is Anna Stashkina and we are going to talk about rice paper sales. And I'm going to show you how to make this type of rice paper sales. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video and let's begin. Today we are going to use rice paper. Uh, it's also called uh, rice paper, uh, spring roll wrappers and Vietnamese uh, rice paper. I have my piece of rice paper here on the table and I have a piece of uh, wax paper. I will start with mixing uh, my solution. So what I have here is a glass bowl and some... Um, blue gel color and a touch of black gel color water a little bit to mix because i wanted to see what color i'm going to get out of this mixture this blue is a little bit too bright for my liking so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add just a touch of black to mute it down I'm going to use this mini spritz bottle. You can buy at any craft store in the scrapbooking section. And I have another spray bottle with water. And I'm going to place it on the back side. It doesn't matter, these sides are equal, so it doesn't matter which side you're going to use first. And I'm going to spritz this rice paper with water and rub it in. But I need just a little bit to moisten and to help it stick to my wax paper. And then from the front side, I want my sail to go this way. So I want the most color concentrated on this side and light on this side. So I will start from to spritz from the top to the bottom and will add my color. So I'm spraying rice paper with water and rub it in to make sure that I have enough moisture. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this blue color, like that. What I use when I just testing things and I want things to dry a little bit faster, I'm using a hair dryer. So if you are working on a cake for your client, don't use a hair dryer. Just leave it on the side to dry for maybe 15 minutes and you will be fine. But if you want to play around and you want to test things, it's totally fine to use a hair dryer or oh, buy a new one and never use it on your hair. So I'm putting it on a warm settings and and on a high to dry it a little bit faster. So I'm not trying to dry it out, I'm just trying to um, make it not as sticky as it was before so I can release it from my wax paper piece. And if it's dry enough, it should be fine, it should release itself very easily, just be careful. Okay, so now I have it. First thing I wanted to do is I wanted to cut it around and make this shape is not as square. So what I'm going to do is use my scissors. I maybe shape it like this. So, and to shape it, I can suggest you to use two things. First of all, what I did to shape my larger sails this is my silicone mat and then you're taking your rice paper sail and you shape it in the way you want it so i wanted to see some interesting layers that's why i'm going to scrunch it and next what i'm going to do is i'm going to place it on my silicone mat so i'm going to press it down put it on the side for a second to dry it will take maybe 15 minutes and if you wanted to make your rolls and your curls tighter like this one i used a roll of wax paper uh, so next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to prepare my decorations fresh water curls i learned from this book this book is maggie austin cake artistry and techniques but then when you bake them they become uh this interesting misshaping things 
And next step is to make them uh, pearly and shiny. I put them in a small container like this and add a little bit of pearl powder or super pearl, uh, whatever you have on, or have on hands. Put a lid on top and shake it. And then you will have this beautiful pearls to add to your cakes. So next thing I'm going to use is uh, sparkling sugar. And these are uh, PME blush pearls. So some of this. These are going to be our decorations for now. And I'm going to use piping gel to attach these decorations to my sail on a brush. Let's add some decoration. So I want my sail to go on the cake this side and I want this part to be my focal point and this is going to be like on the top of the cake. And first thing I'm going to do is add some piping gel. So I'm looking for some deeper areas where I can add my decorations. So here's my pearls. I'm going to stick them to my areas where I have piping gel. And I think because I've tested corn syrup before, it worked the same as piping gel, but it takes a little bit longer to dry. These pearls. And last step, because I still have some areas where piping gel is sticky, I'm going to add uh, crystallized like uh, sparkling sugar. I will leave it to dry. Here is my final rice paper sale. How to attach this sale to your cake. So what I did when I played around how to attach this rice uh, sale to my cake, I came across a bag of uh, semi isomal and then what I did, I did this uh, lollipop stick in isomal and attach it to the back of my sails. You can barely see any connection points and it's strong. So even if I have this uh, amount of decorations on my sail and I wanted to place it on a cake, I will dip my lollipop stick into an isomal and I'm going to stick it to the back side of my sail just to make sure that I have a strong connection like this. And if you wanted to add even more decorations to your sail, uh, you can use edible markers. You can add and you can paint on your sail and add all these textures. Thank you so much for watching this week's demonstration and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and share with your cake friends. I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Bye-bye!